Hello, everyone, and welcome to Coach's Corner. With me right now is head women's basketball coach, Coach Nate Kilbert. Thank you, Coach. Glad to be here. All right. Well, Coach, two wins, two big win, big wins this weekend. Talk about those. Well, you know, uh, coming in, we was always talking about having the opportunity just to play against the number one seed and uh, uh, come out and perform up to our capabilities. That's what we've been talking about all week before we got a chance to play them. And uh, we started to get people back healthy. And I, the biggest thing is now your head is starting to get healthy. Uh, she's been dealing with an ankle injury basically all season long, and she's starting to get a little healthy now. And we're starting to play a lot better simply because uh, she's starting to come around. Uh, Texas Southern game, uh, you know, we started off slow in that, in that game. But we started slow simply because uh, we weren't making shots. We were getting to the spots we wanted to get to. Uh, we just weren't making the shots. And defensively, we was real good. So uh, our slow starts are all about making shot making and making free throws. And we, we're not doing that good for some reason, but we're getting the shots that we want. We just got to start making them a little bit more. Okay, Coach, uh, you talk about playing number one seed. Are you one of those coaches who believe the tournament starts now during regular season and the uh, conference tournament is just an advanced part of the tournament play? Well, I think you want to be playing good basketball going into the tournament. I think that's the key. Most of the time, team, the team that's playing the best basketball going up, leading up to the tournament is normally the team that's going to win. I don't care what they ranked. I mean, you can be ranked uh, at the bottom, and if you're playing good basketball going into the tournament, you, get, you stand a very good chance of winning the tournament. And uh, it starts now, I think. You start the execution and the, and the understanding of what you're doing starts now because we have a lot of kids that don't really understand what we're doing offensively nor defensively. Uh, we're starting to get all that together. We're starting to get healthy, and I think it's very important that you start to play well now because this is kind of like almost at that midpoint where you're getting ready to start back over and playing uh, th those teams twice. So now's a good time to really start. Okay, Coach, it was our, our first win over Texas Southern in five seasons. Last time we defeated them was in the 2011-2012 season, 69-52, when uh, your assistant coach, Coach Evans, was head, men, head women's coach here. Talk about Coach Evans and what he brings to the Golden Lions. Well, you, you know, uh, you don't, we don't talk about this a lot, but you know, you have an offense coordinator, you have a defense coordinator. Mm -hmm. uh, so I put all that slow start and stuff on him because he's an <laughs> offense coordinator. And he really is. He's, he's the guy that, get, that, that put in a lot of our offensive sets. You know, most of the stuff we run is stuff that, that he brought to us. And uh, uh, very, just a little bit of it is mine. You know, a lot of backdoor cuts and some of it is mine. But majority of our offensive sets is built around stuff that he liked to do. But, you know, I have to like it too. And I, and I do. And, you know, he does a great job. Of, of, of getting kids to the spot that they need to be at. And uh, the, the slow start is really not on him, it's really on our kids because they're getting good shots. They're just not taking their time and making them. But he brings a, a big part of our offense to our, to our scheme. Okay, well, Coach, let's talk about the last three minutes of the game against Texas Southern. Uh, it was tied 45 45. What was going through your mind? Well, I feel good at that, at that point. I think anytime you can be tied with the number one seed at, at that point in the game, you got a chance to win the ball game, you have to feel good. Uh, and at the same time, I, I know that we was getting good shots. Uh, we was taking good shots. We just wasn't making them consistently like we wanted to make them. But I was happy with our defense. I mean, I thought we was doing a great job defensively, uh, keeping them out of their spots and keeping them from getting the spacing that they needed to, to score a basket. So I was real comfortable right there. I felt good. All the pressure to me was on Texas Southern. So because they was the number one seed. They was in that spot with us to score a tie. I think the later the game get, the team that's the highest seed uh, for some reason feels the pressure more than the team that's the lowest seed. And I don't look at it like that. I, I look at it as that you know how a seed and I am when we're playing. But I know most teams look at it like that and they feel that pressure of, of being tied with a team, especially they consider us being one of the lower seeds that, oh man, we're in trouble now. But we felt very good at, in that situation with being tied 45-45. Oh. All right, Coach, we went up 46-45 with 1.37 left to play on a Chantella Harris free throw. What did you tell your team at that time? Well, I, I thought we should have went up actually three because Chantella should have made the bucket and made the free throw, but she is missing the bucket and making one of the two free throws. But I feel good because, uh, again, we was getting to our spots. We were getting opportunity to score basket where we wanted to get them at. And uh, it just felt like the, the, the game was – the momentum was heading up in our favor, and we just kept we kept building on it, kept building on it, and then we eventually we, we took off a little bit and got, got the the edge that we needed to to win the ball game. But I feel good at that point. Okay, because nine here had a put back with 52 seconds left to go, then we hit a free throw for the final 49-45. All right, coach, let's go look at the stat sheet here in our game against Texas Southern. <clears throat> 
Uh, Naya Head, double double, her third of the year. Had 11 points, 11 rebounds. Shantayla Harris, nine points, nine points, ten boards, five block shots. Talk about those. Well, you know, Naya uh, is that person we're talking about who's dealing, been dealing with that ankle, and you see that ankle starting to get well. She's been able to plan a little bit better. She's been able to move a little bit better, and which helps her rebounding, which helps her, helps her defense. And, and that's been our problem dealing with Naya is defensively. Uh, people kind of single her out when it comes to uh, her on the defense side of the ball, but now you can't do that anymore because she's moving extremely well. And you can see she's starting to rebound the ball better simply because now she can plant, she can move, she can jump. and. Uh, I look for her to start getting uh, 10 boards a game and having about 16 points a game because she's starting to get a lot more healthier than she's been in the past. So uh, that's, that's, that's no secret to me. I, I just been waiting for it to come a long time. Now she's starting to play up to her capability and hopefully she'll continue to do that. Shantayla, uh, she, to me, she's a double-double person. She, uh, she's our best inside person that plays with her back to the basket. So we, we depend on her to score for us down there. And I, I, we're looking for her and depending on her to score double Double figures and score uh, double figure rebound for us. So the block, the block shots are great, but we don't we don't look for a lot of block shots. We like to, we're more about positioning. We like for Shantae to keep her hand straight up, not slap down, and make folks shoot over her. If she can continue to do that, and some block shots come along with it, that'll be great. Okay, and Destiny Bruton once again, eight points, four assists. We'll talk about Destiny. Yeah, Destiny, Destiny is coming along. I think that's the biggest problem, and I've been getting on about this, is conditioning. She's got to get herself in basketball shape. You're starting to see her get those spurts back in where she's really pushing the ball up the court now, and then she's starting to look like herself again. But she is dealing with a back, uh, a back injury, so, uh, where it's, her back has been kind of messing with her a little bit. She's kind of getting away from that now. Her back is getting stronger, and she's starting to look like the person that we need her to be in order for us to be a real good basketball team. She's starting to find open people. She's starting to hit the little short jump shot a little bit better and and we want to play bigger so Destiny has to take care of the ball better now and she's starting to do those things so we can move Naya to a three and put some bigger post in we want to do that sometimes because we like Naya to face the face the bucket a lot so we like to move her to a three that's how she got that double double against Texas Southern because she was at the three she's hard to block out when she's at the three because she's coming from the perimeter now to rebound the ball so Destiny but we're limited when it comes to ball handling when she's at the three because Destiny's got to be our main ball handler now because she don't have anybody that she really can give it to to really help her bring it up. So she has to be that person. And she's done a great job against Texas Southern and, and Prairie View. Okay, well, let's move to Monday night, Coach. 64-47 uh, win over Prairie View. Our first win over Prairie View since the 2012 season. We won 57-50. Talk about that game a little bit, Coach. I, again, I, we started slow again uh, against Prairie View. I think Prairie View ended up outscoring us uh, both quarters, the first and the second, if I'm not mistaken. But I know we started off real slow. They ended up leading us at halftime. But the, the slow start came from us just missing shots again, um, getting to our spots, uh, getting the shots that we want to take. We just just missing them. And uh, I think eventually we're gonna start to make those shots, and we're gonna start to you're gonna see us move a lot faster in the very beginning. Uh, but uh, other than that, I was I was proud of the way we played. I, I thought. The changing of defense from the first half to the second half slowed Prairie View up a lot because we went from man to zone in the second half. But, uh, you know, Prairie View just, their guards are real good. Uh, uh, you have to really make adjustment to what they're trying to do. Uh, and they're trying to uh, dribble uh, to uh, penetrate. They want to do a lot of that, even though they have good outside shoes. So we cut that out by going zone in the second half, and that kind of slowed them up and made us look faster. And really, the momentum of the game didn't change. We just started making shots, and we went zone on Prairie View, slowed them up, and we started pushing the ball down the floor, which made us look like we was playing a lot faster than what we were in the first half, but we really wasn't. We just started to make shots. Okay, Coach, talk about the third quarter. You opened up the third quarter with an 8-0 run after being down 31-27 at the half to go up 35-31. Talk about that 8-0 run there. Well, uh, again, we, we, we execute our offense. We start to make some outside shots, and it kind of open up everything inside for Harris to start getting the ball in and not being double teamed. And, and the way our offense was being ran, it, uh, run, and you, you, we spreading them out. Now they can't help on Harris as much. And when they do help on her, you leave them wide open people wide open for outside shots and I think um, uh, Muhammad made one, I think Asia made one, and that and Bruton hit a three. So that kind of really stretched them out. Now they got to start coming out checking these people and now we go back inside to Head and Sean Taylor and they start finishing making plays and finishing plays down there. Talk about Agent Richland, Coach. She made some key shots for us down the stretch. She finished tonight with eight points against Prairie View and four against Texas Southern. Talk about her play a little bit. 
uh, uh, Asia's one of those people who's coming off one of those, those nagging injuries again, dealing with her ankle. She she really sprung, she had a high ankle sprain early in the year and then really hadn't gotten over it. You'll start to see her play better and better as the year go along once that ankle get to the point where she can start do some, doing some of the things she's capable of doing. And uh, you're starting to see her play a little bit better and better each night now because her ankle's getting well. But I thought she made some big plays in that game for us. Uh, she had a big steal in that game to get a layup and she hit a, a, a big jump shot in that game. So she's really starting to play up to her capabilities now. And, uh, we need her to because she's one of our experienced people. She's one of our old heads who we depend on to run our offense around. And she knows what we want from our offense and our defensive scheme. So we need her to continue to play the way she's playing. In the last two games, she's been, she's been pretty good. Okay. Well, Coach, we continue our Big Cat weekend. We had faced two Big Cats this previous weekend. We faced two more Big Cats this weekend in Bramlin State and Jackson State. Talk about playing Bramlin this weekend. Oh, it's it's always tough to play them, especially uh, in Ruston. I mean, they always they always tough to beat down there. Um, it, uh, lately, they've been. They, I think they lost their last two ball games, but you know they're playing in to Texas Southern Prairie in Houston, so that's always tough. Uh, but uh, they're a very good ball club. They're the only team in the league that, that knocked off the team that's in first place. Now at their place, that's Alabama State. They're the only team in the league to beat Alabama State. So that tells you something about them right there. And when they, when you can go on the road and win in, in Montgomery, you have done a very good job. So. Uh, uh, if we can just slow them up, uh, they, they want to play real fast. I think our inside game, I think we have the advantage, but we have to make sure we take advantage of the advantage because uh, if we don't get the ball inside against them and, and, and allow them to push the ball up and down the floor and get layups against them, we're going to be in for a long night. We got to continue to play defense the way we are playing now. And I think we got a, I think we got a great chance of winning the ball game if we do those things. If we slow them up, play good defense like we've been playing, and, 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 and go inside out and force them to, to go big because I think they're a real good team when, they, when they're small. When their post players are like 5'9", five, 5'10", five, they're a real good team. But when they have to go to their bigger post player, it kind of slows them up a little bit and kind of force them to play the way we want to play. So hopefully we can force them to do that. Okay. Freddie Murray is the interim coach at, at Grambling State. Uh, I've worked with Freddie Murray before. You've known Freddie Murray for a long time. What can you say about Freddie? He's, he's, he's a good basketball coach. He's a good person. He's an extremely good person. Anything he can do to help you, uh, he will. Uh, but his X's and O's are good, too. I, I watched him. I've been knowing him a long time now, and I just watched his teams over the past. He used to be the, the interim coach at Nickel State. So he's been around. You can look at some of the stuff that he's doing and tell that he knows what he's doing. Uh, but that also that also hurts him because he know I know some of the things he like to do. But it's the same way with him. He know I know he knows some of the things that I like to do. So that can work to both of our favor. Hopefully we'll, we'll be able to execute some of the things that we're talking about. Uh, that his team does better than what they do. Okay. Well, Coach, let's look at the standings here. Uh, we got Alabama State in first place at six and one. Behind them is Southern at six and two. In third place is Texas Southern with five and two in conference play. Allcorn State is five and three for fourth place. Tied in fifth place is Mississippi Valley and Grambling State in fifth. Uh, sixth place is us at three and four. Prairie View A&M, seventh place at two and five. Jackson State, one and six. And Alabama A&M, 0 and seven in ninth place. Talk about the standards a little bit, Coach. We got, this will be the last two games, then we start next week, then following weekend we start conference play. I don't want to say conference play over again, but we start the second round right. of, of conference play. Right, I, I, it just shows how uh, competitive all the teams are. I mean, anybody can, can beat anybody, and, and uh, it, that, those standards shows you that. I think if we go on the road and take care of business, we might be in fourth when we come next time. I mean, you sit here. We might be talking about fourth place. But uh, we got to take care of business because you can see all those teams are right there together. We, we, are, we are three and four, and we're two games out of first place, you know, and, and one game out of being in, in, in second place. So it's a matter of just taking care of your business. And I think uh, you'll see those standards flip flop because Texas Southern is going to be at home and they're going to be playing some of the top teams. They're going to be playing in Southern. You know, so now they're going to be playing Alabama State and Alabama A&M. So that's, that's the top, playing against the top. So it's, it's going to definitely change a lot. It's going to be very interesting to see how this thing plays out. But I, I think we got a very good chance to be, be in the top four. And if we play like we're supposed to and do the things that we're capable of, we got a very good chance of moving up.